Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, we're looking at tiny and big grandpa's leftovers. I'm joined today by Adam Biesinger. Hello, Biesinger. Biesinger and Dan Riker. <laughs> hey. Hello. I will never get your name right. Nope. Uh, running joke that's not actually a joke. I have <laughs> no idea what, uh, what, uh, what this game is about. I saw you playing it a little bit. What is the story here, Adam? What's, what's this kid's deal? Okay, so this is Tiny. This is who you play. Um, you are trying to find a pair of magical underpants, which uh, were stolen by a dude named Big. And they're your grandpa's <laughs> they underpants? Are your grandpa's, they're your grandpa's underpants. They're magic underpants. His leftover underpants. Uh, That's I'm right. listening. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I figured this would be right up your alley, Dan. Well, this is all I know about this game. First of all, I, I know the title, and now Underpants, which is great. But I heard physics and puzzles, which two of my favorite things in games. I really like physics-based stuff, like, you know, Red Faction, uh, Armageddon. No, Gorilla was the one that did all that stuff, oh, gosh. which is great. <laughs> and I that love totally puzzle me. games, so this uh, this sounds right up my alley. So this will be my first time actually seeing it in action. Yeah, actually, Spack. both, both uh, Red Faction games were physics-based. I never actually played Armageddon. I just remember hearing that it was underground, and I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, I don't think I missed much. This I want to play, though. You should totally play it. And how is the story presented? Uh, pretty much what we saw there, uh, that is how it goes, more or less. Um, you you get little interstitials that are uh, where the radio talks to you. It's never really explained who's on the radio. Somebody is. It might be a robot. I'm not really sure. Uh, but you're kind of stuck in this desert. And Whoa. you can uh, cut stuff. He's got the line cutter from stuff. Dead Space. And I'm not really sure where that's So about. is there, there an go. undo button? Like, let's say you cut down a column and you decide you completely messed it up. Can you, like, go back a step and reassemble it, or do you have to reload the whole level? Yeah, there's no there's no undo. You can go back to the checkpoint. The checkpoint system is fairly liberal, um, so it's not a huge deal. Now, as you can see here, like, everything is physics-enabled, right? So, like... I could have piled up a bunch of stuff to get up there, which I think is what I did when I played the game for review. And But instead, I uh, just chopped it up. And we're going to do this because it's hilarious. Rockets are great. Whoa. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the great thing is that, I mean, you can cut up anything. Pretty this is much. like Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> that, that first tech demo -y thing where he's cutting the watermelons? Except, except a weird like German indie PC game, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so who's the developer behind this? Uh, it's a it's a company called Black Pants Studio. Um, they they like their pants. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're some former like students, and they won several awards for this, actually, and entered into some different competitions and stuff. But this is it is now just now finally coming out for reals. And uh, yeah, it's available right now on the digital distribution platform of your choice. How much does it go for? Uh, Ten bucks. Oh, really? You can also get the... Um, it's not very long. It's like four hours long. Um, you can also get the soundtrack edition, which if you're listening to the soundtrack, this is one of the earliest songs, and you kind of collect more songs as the game goes on. Uh, um, and... So... But there, the soundtrack is awesome. I mean, it's like... It's seriously impressive. I, I might get this tonight. This looks really yeah, cool. Yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. I it's like the really art style neat. a lot. And this seems like more of an open world kind of puzzle. When I was watching Dan, uh, Adam play it earlier, uh, he was like on a bridge, kind of a boss fight almost. Mm -hmm. Seemed very linear, very action packed. Mm -hmm. The enemy was like throwing stuff at him that he had to catch in the air or destroy in the air. Yep. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Primary I death kill is... myself pretty regularly. Okay. In this yeah, game. it's like Red Faction then. <laughs> I think the <laughs> tower is going this way. No. Get on out. It Get turns out, out you shouldn't it. hammer a building oh, down gosh. when you're standing in it. <laughs> yeah, bad idea, but hilarious. There we go. See, the the way that I always describe this game, uh, also in my review, besides me being really bad at it, obviously, um, but my review's up on, on GameInformer.com right now, uh, so you could read that if you wanted. But anyway, the, the way to describe this game is that it's like, if Minecraft is about building sandcastles, this is about going and kicking down a bunch of sandcastles. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay? And just like... Because you just wreck stuff. I want to get I want to get us into the next level, which is kind of the first real level of the game. Uh, I want to get us into there so I can show you what I'm talking about. So what are these things you're sticking to it? Do you have oh, to... those are my rockets. Your rockets. Okay, so... Yeah. You... That's your push. 
So you can just go and cut if you want to, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I've been. That's what I've been doing. Okay. Um. So here you. This is yes. How the story is presented. Journey? This is how the story is presented. <laughs> <laughs> you see some scarfs oh, go flying by. Naughty what a jerk. pants. Um. As you can tell, it, it runs really great on pretty much any setup. Um, loading times are infrequent and not very long. This is actually, we're actually playing on a laptop here. Um, so it is not anything you need to be super concerned about your uh, your system specs. So like this, see like all this, I'm going to show you exactly oh, that's cool. what you can do to yeah. all this. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so that's the story. Um, so is there so a like, good payoff with the underpants? Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want any spoilers or anything with the <laughs> underpants, but I just want to know if there's a good follow through with the underpants. Um, I mean, they are definitely integral to the story. You can like, uh, I can't quite get that off. But like, but, oh <laughs> no! Oh, God, Adam. oh, this is great! Holy crap! <laughs> so like all this stuff, you can just you can just mess up, and it's great. There's some new music. There is some. New it's on tape. Does it play in mono? <laughs> we can only hope. So is it just specific Oops. materials you can cut through, or is it it's, pretty much anything? It's pretty much ev everything. Um, you you can cut through stuff, that wall, though, if you wanted to. Right. right? There's some okay. stuff like like the walls here. Oh, I think I actually need that. You know what I can do? I can do this. I move that. So that's so, the rock. Okay. Yeah. So you were asking before, like, how... Um, uh, how you uh, could deal with if you kind of paint yourself into a corner by cutting stuff. Yeah. The game, you know, I played through the whole thing, and it's really kind of infrequent that you do that. The levels are designed in such a way that it's just not much of an issue, to be honest. Like, which kind of surprised me, because I thought it was going to be. But it's really not. And it seems like there's probably not, like, one solution to this stuff. I mean, I assume you can just kind of mess around and, and work your own solutions in. Yeah, I mean, there there is, kind of. But, I mean, I like, maybe stuff. you yeah. have to get up to that. Yeah, door. like, let's say you have to get from point A to point B, yeah. But, I mean, could you just move around a variety of different things or cut things in a variety oh of different boy. ways to oh work? No. It's going to be fun. No, See, look man. how fun it is. Uh, oh, man. Yes. There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That kid's in trouble. I could do this the right no, way. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so so most of the game is just kind of puzzle platformy kind of stuff that you see me doing here. There's some collectibles. There, there's some more stuff up there that I'm not gonna bother getting right now. Um, but uh, there's also a few um, kind of more actiony segments that Reiner alluded to earlier, uh, where there's like a dude throwing telekinetically throwing boulders and stuff at you. Is that the bridge I saw up there? Uh, yes, I okay. think so. Yeah, that's the bridge. Um, so like dude throwing boulders at you and you have to uh, cut the boulders before they smoosh you. Okay. Um, or just get out of the way. I don't think I can actually go here. Now, with all the platforming elements, can you use a like 360 controller? Does it support that? Yes, it does actually. So you are free to use kind of whatever control method you like. I mean, I, I much prefer it with the mouse personally. Um, but yeah, how does the cutting mechanic work exactly? So it's like you just you have your laser and you hold your left click down and you drag your little thing, your little cursor, um, and then as as long as you can cover the whole object and it's cuttable, you just you just let it go and there it goes, all over. Jeez. So there are some rules like this surface cannot be cut. There are some, yes. I am just not doing a great job of this. I'm <laughs> it's like you're making <laughs> spaghetti noodles here. Something like that. Come on. So you have a rocket, and you also have something that pulls it towards you? Yep. And is that from there the beginning, go. or is that something you have to, like, unlock? Uh, no, you, you saw you saw me unlock everything right oh, there okay. in that tutorial level that we were kind of just oh, in. Oh, okay. And that's um, it for the game, then? That's, yep. These are the mechanics. That's right. I like it. Um, so it's really simple. Like, here, here's another example of another mechanic. Instead of cutting something, I pull this thing over the bridge. Brilliant. Uh, or cre kind of create a bridge. Um, the... Uh, the one knock that I kind of have against the game is that it, um, <laughs> um, it is kind of limited in terms of like you only you only really use a handful of solutions throughout the whole thing a little bit. So like you cut stuff, you build the bridges, and in a lot of cases that's kind of it. But <laughs> I, I love that. that. I want that rocket thing in oh, every gosh. game. Oh boy! 
So now you can see what happens when you die. Which, first you see your lifeless corpse floating around. And then you just get it. Like, I never had... There was one time playing through the whole game where... Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> where I... Uh, where I felt like I was... I, I was screwed into going back too far. So it um, is, is it like a limbo or something where it's like, oh, I died, but okay, I'll just try again now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the checkpoint system, like I said, is fairly liberal, so it's it's really not much of an issue. I mean, this stuff that you, that you just saw right there is pretty much the worst that it gets where, like, oh, yeah, of course, there's this tiny little gap right there that I didn't even notice and yeah. fell down, right? Like, that happens. But when the... When the uh, wow. <laughs> That was gutsy. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> awesome. Oh, nice. Whoa. Perfect. So yeah, I mean, the the penalty for dying is really low. So oh yeah, I, I remember what's happening. And it just kind of resets anything that you may have cut or rocketed. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about environments? Um, everything I've seen has oh, kind gosh. of been the <laughs> shades of brown and gray. <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, this is probably the majority of the game is pretty much this, I guess, tile set or this environment or whatever right. you want to call it. Um, later in the game, there's another one that looks quite a lot different, um, which I rather enjoyed. Does it have to do with underpants? Uh, everything in this game has to do with underpants. Hmm. What are you collecting there? Uh, rocks. Boring okay. rocks. Or boring stones. Stones are rocks. So you have infinite, you know, missiles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Power, all there's, that. No, okay. there's, there's no health. See? Magic underpants. Can you get more than one missile on a thing, or is it just nope. one at a time? You only ever have one missile out, so, I mean, literally, you do one thing at a time. You, you're you moving, or you're pushing, or you're pulling, or you're cutting. Like, okay. it's a very simple set of interactions that you have with the game world, but, I mean, it's kind of brilliant, because the, uh, I mean, the interactions that you have can be combined in such interesting ways, uh, and, and combined so liberally, like, with everything. Like, if, if this was, like... You know, if, if you only had certain materials you could cut or whatever, this game could be really boring, right? But because it's pretty much everything, it's it's really quite amusing. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. See? Yeah, that worked, right? Perfect. Uh, oh. Okay, perfect. Oh, and and so you can't use your grapple to like just cause two yourself up there, can you? No, no. Okay. The grapple is not a movement thing at all. You can't like grapple and swing or anything like that. I'm just completely failing at this. Where is I'd... Just Cause 3? I, I need that. that. Yeah. Here we go. God, those games are so much fun. Didn't you do a blog about how you won it with dinosaurs? Oh, be the greatest game ever. <laughs> Hands down. Just a, upon what announcement. We wouldn't even have oh, to right. play it. Yeah, I, I like Just Cause 2 a lot. Well, we'll solve this room. <laughs> Eventually. Or get crushed. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you would think that I would paint myself into a corner here, but there's almost always more stuff to do, more stuff to grab, more stuff to cut. Um, so Just it's, keep it's piling and uncommon. stuff like that. Yeah. So one thing I did want to make sure to bring up here is that the soundtrack for this game is so good. It is just freakishly good. It's it's just a selection of a bunch can of you, like, uh, random indie bands. Can you download it anywhere? Uh, I know you can buy the soundtrack edition, which comes with a copy of the soundtrack of the game for like 15 instead of the normal 14 bucks. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I don't know what exactly the situation is with it being sold. Uh, like if it's separately. on Bandcamp or something Wait, like that. Yeah. yeah, or SoundCloud or or whatever. No, no, uh, no. But the listing, if you go to the if you go to the website for the game, uh, they list you know all the bands and have links to their sites and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. Normal. Uh, you said fourteen. It's ten, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten bucks. Yeah. Ten bucks. Uh, or if you want to hear really cool music on your own, fifteen. Right. And you can, you keep collecting more of these songs. That was actually my favorite. The I didn't give a crap about the rocks, to be honest. Like, you get a score at the end of every level, which I just don't pay attention to. Um, but that's not a good idea. Oh, here we go. Oh, right. it's, I'm not quite there. Let's oh, end this <laughs> by dying in a really embarrassing way, like crushing yourself. Yeah, yeah, All right. No. It's just really bad. Oh, actually, let's end it. I have a better way. Let's end it in secret band room. What? What? Oh. Can you play that arcade game? Turns out. Cool. Yes, I can. Oh. There's several of these challenges uh, hidden and uh, sprinkled throughout the the game. And these are these are like significantly harder. Okay. Well, let's not ruin so. this solution for people. Uh, 
Thanks, Dan, for joining yeah, me. Yeah. Thanks, Adam Beisnesser, for, <laughs> for sitting in again. And Jason, our producer. And we'll see you next week with more episodes of Test Chamber. <laughs>